Hi everyone, and welcome to episode two of Sessions With You. So I've adjusted the height of the camera um, because when I when I saw the playback, I saw that like half my face was cut off. So hopefully this gives you a, my full face. Um, for those of you that are joining me for the first time, my name is Amy. I am a physiotherapy assistant as well as a network marketer with Isogenics and Flavorista. And Sessions With You is all about giving you tips, tools and strategies for you to become the best version of yourself so that you can be truly happy, healthy, joyful, content and fulfilled. So if you see maybe the doors in the background open, it's just my cats coming in. I don't have ghosts, <laughs> um, but they should be okay playing outside in the lounge room because the heat is on. So they're probably curled up somewhere nice and warm. So our first episode was all about taking your first step, acknowledging that there are some things missing in your life and you really do want to take things to the next level, whether it's um, building and growing your bricks and mortar business, expanding your downline in your network marketing opportunity, or uh, opening yourself up to um, other people joining your online platform. Hey, Bert. So tonight's episode is about knowing who you are. I've seen a lot of people uh, popping up on Instagram and Facebook saying, you know, I tried to be like this and it didn't work or I tried to be like that and it didn't work. And what happens is when you try and be like someone that you see on Instagram because they've got 20,000 followers or... Um, you try and be like someone on Facebook because, you know, they're selling programs left, right and center. You lose your own authenticity. And when you don't have your authenticity, you aren't an authority. And when you aren't an authority, you aren't an expert. And if you're not an expert, if you're not an authority and you don't have authenticity, why should anyone buy from you? Why should anyone do business with you and why should anyone work with you? So it's really important to know who you are and to be okay with that. So some days I will wear makeup. It's a very rare thing now because as a beauty therapist, makeup was part of my uniform. I had to wear it every day. And when COVID happened and I was at home, it's like, I don't need to wear makeup. I'm not going anywhere. And I actually now, hey Nadia, I actually now don't really mind not wearing makeup. Sometimes I might put like a little bit of lipstick on and maybe a little bit of lip gloss. I might sometimes put like a very light um, powdering of mineral foundation and I might do a little bit of eyeshadow, but it's been you know, more than a year since I've worn a full face of makeup. So when it comes to you showing up on Instagram or um, Facebook or YouTube, I want you to make the decision that you are someone that you love makeup and it's just a part of your life, irregardless of where you're going or what you're doing, or makeup is only for special occasions. And I want you to be okay with showing up with or without makeup. I don't want you looking at someone thinking, oh, they've always got their hair done. They're always wearing makeup. I need to always have my hair done. I always need to wear makeup. I need you to show up how I would meet you out in the everyday world. When you see someone up on stage... And, you know, they're full of life and they've got a pep in their step. Like you see Tony Robbins on stage. If you ask his wife, Sage, she will tell you the man that you all see up on stage is the man that I live with. So how you show up on social media, that's how I want to meet you in real life. So if I see you on social media and you've always got your hair done and you've always got makeup, but out and about, if I was to pass you in the street, 
you don't care about your hair and you don't really bother with makeup, that's where you lose that authenticity. You have to assume that someone on social media is going to bump into you in everyday life. So you have to really be honest with who you are. There is um, a life coach called Dar Man, D-H-A-R M-A-N-N, Dar Man. And he does these like five minute um, skits where it's an actor um, playing a particular character and interacting with other actors playing particular characters. And there's a moral to each video. And there was one video where there was like this social media couple and there's this other couple um, that followed this couple on social media. And on social media, their life looks perfect. And this couple who's looking at the social media couple think they're amazing. And then it just so happens that the real life couple actually um, sees the social media couple in person and the lady's really mean and nasty. The guy's really fake and superficial. Um, the cars that they, you know, take photos in front of are just cars in like parking lots. Um, and their social media presence is just completely fake. Um, so I really want you to consider that if how you show up on Instagram and Facebook is not how you're showing up in life, then universe might be stopping people from coming to your page. Universe might actually have a block in place because universe wants you to be you. Universe doesn't want you to be a carbon copy of someone else. Universe wants people to see your skills and your talents and your abilities. Universe wants people to experience you because if you watched my first episode, I shared with you, I'm not everyone's cup of tea and you're not everyone's cup of tea. And when you try to be everything to everyone, you're actually nothing to no one. So you need to start presenting yourself to your audience, to your community. And if you, how you are offline is how you need to be online. So I was at the gym doing a workout and um, there was a guy in the um, group training session with us and he's like, oh, you're into anime because um, it was on my profile um, in our group introductions. And I'm like, yeah, I love anime. And we were having like a whole conversation going back and forth about anime and manga. Um, and it was fantastic. And, you know, that's something that I share with people. I love anime. I haven't seen all anime. Um, there's animes that I know of that maybe I've seen a preview of, but I've never watched. Um, but I have watched a, a serious amount of anime. So, you know, that's something that I'm passionate about. And that's something that people do know about me. So when you know who you are, it's also about being yourself dressing in a way that's comfortable again if how you show up on social media is not how you go about your everyday life universe is placing another block so how you dress in everyday life is how you need to show up on social media so if you love walking around in active wear and you've got at home active wear, you've got going out and about active wear, that song's popping into my head, the active wear song. And you've got actual active wear for the gym. And you know, you've got different outfits for different situations. You need to own that and you need to share that. Because if you're always wearing active wear in the real world, but online, you're always wearing like dresses and um, stockings or you're always wearing like jeans and a shirt and a jacket. Again, universe is blocking you because how you're showing up in the real world and how you're showing up online are two very different people. So knowing who you are is being proud of all of your quirks and everything that interests you and everything that lights you up. 
you might absolutely love collecting stamps or collecting coins or um, you know you love going for nature walks and I remember in the movie Yes Man um, Zoe Dachanel's character did a running photography group um, and you need to share those things with your audience and your community because again if you're doing things in the real world but that's not transferring across to social media again universe is going to have those blocks so really sharing the things that you love to do if you love to cook or you love to sew or you love to knit really sharing um that with your community because what a lot of you have to understand is whether you're a bricks and mortar business or whether you're a network marketer what you have to understand is for a lot of you you are actually the pioneer in your community's life so you actually have to take the first step forward you're probably like the first business owner in your you know circle of family and friends um, or you're the first network marketer in your circle of friends or in your family so you're going to be surrounded by skeptics and cynics and people that actually need to see the proof in the pudding so you actually need to be the one that you know you're using all the products and you're following the system and you know you're the first one at work and you're the last one to leave and you know you're showing up in every possible way that you can because if you can't make it happen no one who you want to work with is going to be able to have make it happen if you can't find the time to do things no one in your downline and none of your employees are going to try and find the time to do things if you're you know spinning too many plates at once you need to delegate and that's okay and everything that you implement you need to be able to teach that to someone and if you're doing something that it's too complicated um, you're using too many fancy words it's only something you can do and it's going to be really hard to convince someone to say yes if it seems like it's too much work or it seems like it's challenging so you have a unique set of skills that you can communicate to your audience and your community to actually make the process so easy that they can teach it to other people and they actually can be involved with it because it's easy for you to find the time and it's easy for you to delegate out things and get things done and you've prioritized what matters to you and you make sure that your audience is aware of hey this is me and I know that I'm not everyone's cup of tea but I know that you and I wear each other's cup of tea and that's all that matters so when you know who you are emotionally mentally physically psychologically spiritually and you start showing up offline and online exactly who you are universe is going to start opening things you're going to have more followers on instagram you're going to have more people want to join your groups you're going to have more people show up on your lives you're going to have more people subscribe to your youtube channel you're going to have more people listen to your podcast because you are consistently showing up and you are being the pioneer and you're leading the way and you are saying hey this is me what's and all um and i absolutely love who i am and i really want to teach you and empower you to feel the same so um in this series we are actually going to do a power talk meditation um some of you may have done the power talk meditations with me um for some of you it's going to be a brand new concept that maybe you've never experienced um that's going to be absolutely life-changing so that is going to be an episode that is coming up so 
as I said in episode one, each episode is going to focus on a specific topic. So today is all about knowing who you are. So some people will have an accent. Some people, I find, um, sometimes my voice changes a bit. Sometimes I sound English. Sometimes I sound American. Um, sometimes I sound Canadian. Um, I attribute that to being an only child for the first 17 years of my life um, and television and movies being my best friends um, and growing up with American TV shows and American movies and American cartoons. So that's why sometimes I might sound like I'm American um, or sometimes why I might sound Canadian because I think I grew up with a lot of um, animations that were Canadian um, voice actors. But that's okay. Um, it's something that I think is, you know, my quirk and I get to have fun with it um, because people be like, oh my gosh, like, when did you move to Australia? And it's like, I was born here. And they're like, oh my God, you sound American. I'm like, oh, okay. So I want you to start loving your quirks, your eccentricities, those things that are uniquely you. Um, years ago, the movie, Mr. Megorium's Wonder Emporium and the little boy, um, who goes to the shop every day and he's got a hat collection. He has a hat for every day and he's got all sorts of hats. He's got like some pretty sleek and cool hats and then he's got like crazy hats and that is his thing. He collects and he loves hats, absolutely loves them. Um, and, um, you know, Dr. Joshua Plant, who's, um, our head science officer for Isogenics, you will always see him wear a bow tie. Always. You will see him in a shirt and pants, but no matter what, you will always see him with a bow tie. Always. And those little eccentricities are what makes you you. It's what draws people to you. It's what attracts people to you. Um, I know some people have like an incredible laugh and it's just something about their laugh just draws people in. I know um, for some people it's their dog. They go out walking and just like everyone gravitates to them and their dog. Um, I know for some people it's their voice. They just start singing and it's like... I could just listen to you sing all day. <laughs> so the things that make you uniquely you are the things that you need to start sharing with the world offline and online. And you can have a, a specific sequence where, you know, you're sharing quotes and then you're sharing something about yourself and then you're sharing something about fitness and then you're sharing something about yourself and then, you know, you're sharing something about, you know, one of your passion projects and then, you know, you're sharing this about yourself. So, you know, you can really um, coordinate how you share different parts of yourself. And it might be, you know, once a week is, you know, anime and, you know, once a week is, you know, your fitness journey. Once a week is cooking, whatever it is that you're passionate about. I want you to start sharing that with the world. And I want you to start being okay with being yourself. Now I know a lot of ladies actually wear makeup because they suffer with rosacea and it makes them incredibly self-conscious to be seen with a red face. So I understand for a lot of people wearing makeup is a confidence thing because it helps you feel like your true beautiful self. So I want you to start honoring the things that you like to do. You might love earrings, like dangly earrings, so start wearing them more. You might love sequins and glitter, so start wearing them more. Um, you may love having like colored nails, so you know, start playing with your nails a bit more and you know, playing um, when you have a manicure, you know, getting the colors that you want. Depending on your job, you might be affected with uh, what you can and can't do with your nails. But really start exploring who you are. 
for some of you, this might mean coming out of the closet and openly making people aware of your sexual orientation. You may not be ready for that and that's okay. But I want you to start realizing that you are an incredible person and you have skills and knowledge and talents that the world needs to know about and the world needs to be made aware of. I mean, what would the world be like without Miss Darcy Lynn, the incredible ventriloquist? What would the world be like without, you know, her um, friend Petunia the bunny or um, her t um, turtle um, or, you know, her um, elderly friend Edna um, or her, um, her friend the rat, you know? Where where would the world be without Darcy Lynn? Um, and I love ventriloquism. I think ventriloquism is amazing. I don't know how they do it. I mean, I know how they do it. But I don't know how they're able to talk without moving their lips and actually how it be like a total conversation. Like, I, I can see their neck moving, but... I don't see no movement in the lips and like changing their voice and even singing like Terry Fader singing um, as if he as if he sounds like Etta Jones singing at last. Um, it's absolutely incredible. So I want you to stop trying to be like someone that you're seeing on social media and I want you to start being yourself. I want you to be comfortable with wearing glasses instead of wearing contact lenses. I want you to be comfortable with, you know, showing the world who you are and all of your quirks because there are so many people in the world that they truly believe they're alone. They truly believe they're the only person going through what they're going through. And if you start showing up on social media and you start being vulnerable and you're willing to be that pioneer, someone might come across your social media, hey, Samantha, and they might see that you are a beautiful girl who, you know, doesn't fit the typical, um, you know, ideology of, you know, a nerd or a geek. Um, and you are like so into video games or, you know, you're incredibly into anime or manga and you need to empower other women that you don't have to look like a geek or a nerd um, to like playing video games um, or to like anime. And the thing is, I also want you to share the music that you like because there could be someone watching your social media that they think that they're the only one that likes country music or they think that they're the only one that's into um, reggae music or, you know, they're, they think that they are an outsider and they truly feel like they don't belong and you could be the difference in someone's life that by you being vulnerable, by you saying, hey, this is me, um, you might save a life. You might help someone be like, I'm not alone. I'm not alone. Um, and that's a very beautiful thing. And for me... I believe that is the true meaning of life. If you are questioning what is your reason, meaning, and I want you to understand that for me, as simple as it is, it makes absolute sense to me. Your reason, meaning, purpose for being born and for existing on this planet is to make one other person's life better. And if you can make more people's lives better, that's a bonus. But the 
bare ass minimum requirement is to make one other person's life better. And when you know who you are and when you show yourself to the world, you could be changing a life. And I'm going to finish today's episode there. And I really look forward to seeing how you decide to start showing up and how you decide to start sharing who you really are with the world. And yes, the song from Moana just popped up into my head. <laughs> Taka and um, Tafiti. Um, but absolutely, when you start sharing who you are, you are going to see exactly how you change lives and exactly how you can impact the world. So thank you so much for joining me for episode two of Sessions with You. Um, as I said, I do not guarantee to show up every night, but when I do show up, you have 100% of me. So I look forward to seeing you in episode three of sessions with you. Be safe, be well, much love.